On August 19, 2008, Team Fortress 2 received a major content update known as the Heavy Update. It was a major update that added maps, three weapons, including the sandwich, and a new short called Meet the Sandwich, which was released as a sort of pseudo trailer or an announcement for the update. It also added a new game mode called Arena Mode. The mode shipped with five maps. Initially though, only two were actually made as Arena Mode exclusives. The rest of them were modified versions of other maps. Arena Mode was a team deathmatch styled game mode where Red and Blue would fight to the death with no respawns. The goal is to kill every opponent on the enemy team before they could kill you first. If God forbid a round lasted over a minute, the control point on the map would be available to capture to provide an alternate end to the route. After seeing variable success, following patches in 2009 added several modified versions of other maps and arena mode exclusive maps like Off Blast and Watchtower. But after this, development seemingly stopped, with a few patches over six years later adding the Lonely Buyer map to the rotation. When Meet Your Match was released, it not only killed TF2's quick play system, it also killed Arena Mode as well. This was evident as Byro was added into the Alternate Game Mode Map tab instead of the Arena Mode tab. Which is ironic as Byro was created to help bring back attention to Arena Mode and would have benefited from an actual opinion instead of being hidden. So why did it fail? Well, it's quite simple. No one actually played it. Well, that's it's actually a bit tad more complex than that. Arena Mode was the culmination of bad gameplay mechanics, bad marketing, and of course, bad maps. Arena Mode was designed to be quick and action-packed with fast matches, which is fine, but knowing what we know now, this was never going to work in the long run. Arena matches usually took less than 5 minutes to complete, multiply that by 3, and you have 3 rounds of full play in less than 20 minutes, which is 3 times as many rounds as literally any one round on a payload map. Team Fortress 2 also has a thing called Random Crits, maybe you've heard of it, which do exist in this game mode. First kill in arena mode gets crits for 5 seconds, which can practically end your game if you knew what you were doing. Partner with random crits, you can die incredibly easy pretty much anywhere, which means you have to sit out the rest of the game because, mind you, no respawns. This remains the only game in TF2 where you actually do more waiting than actual playing. You wait for a round to start, then you die, then you have to wait for the round to end, undo that three more times, then a map switch, and that's too much waiting especially for Team Fortress 2, which has long rounds to compensate for wait times. That's also why maps like Hightower and 2-4 are so popular. People want long rounds, and with a map like Hightower, which doesn't have an end timer, means that you can play as long as you want until either both teams make a collective effort to finish the round, or when hell freezes over. Also, Arena Max have a lack of health kits dictating the meta almost immediately, with engineers and medics being present on every team, keeping teammates alive for far longer than the devs intended. Number 2. Bad Maps the design of the maps fed into the mode's insecurity. You sacrifice quality and good level design in exchange for a quick claustrophobic mess. The gimmick of the mode was the fact that rounds are quick and have a burst of action. But the design of the maps is also the bane of the mode's existence. Instead of having a clear-cut objective, the players are forced to wander around the map in hopes of finding another player to kill. Which leads to another problem. Teams did not prioritize the point. If they did attempt to cap, they would be endlessly bullied by the opposite team for trying to end the round the fast way, much like high tower rounds go. With almost every single arena map, it has two alternate routes and a central point, with maps like Watchtower showcasing this flaw the most. The modified King of the Hill maps did not have this problem, because every route led to the main objective. Most arena maps are actually modified control point maps, which were better received than straight arena maps, as they were built for a better game mode and a game mode that doesn't rely on short round times. Let's talk about marketing. There was none. Now, game modes were never really advertised by Valve, but this is a game mode that basically was the same as King of the Hill with no timer and no respawns. The things that made King of the Hill fun was it's a game mode where your team is under the pressure of capturing a control point first and holding it while the enemy team just keeps coming and coming until either they capture the control point or they hold it until the time runs out. Arena was just a less fun version of King of the Hill, and it showed. The maps were cramped for the sake of increasing game speeds, and are rendered unplayable with actual arena mode maps suffering the same modern commodities like Pyro's Jetpack and Rocket Jumping, dominating modern day servers. Fans of the game mode can still find it on Versus Saxon Hale community servers though. Well everybody, I'd like to thank you for watching. It never hurts to like the video and subscribe since it helps me out a lot. I worked really hard on this one and I hope it shows, I don't know. Uploads are going to be spotty as I'm going on vacation in a few days, but I hope this will tide everyone over until I get back. 
Have a good night, everybody. This is Communist Crab, signing off.